Okay, part two for four marks then adds in another set of 100 numbers. Um, and it says the sum of those numbers is 5,760 and the sum of the squares of the numbers is this value here. And it wants us to group those two sets of numbers together to get the mean and the standard deviation of all 175 stones. So we know that the mean um, of, ev of all the values, so the new mean, is going to be all the numbers added together, the sum of the w's and the sum of the x's over 175. So we need to start off by knowing the sum of the w's, which we didn't have in part one, but it's very easy to find out. The sum of the w's is going to be the mean value times by how many numbers there were. Because if you remember the formula for mean, it's the sum of the, the values divided by n. So if we move this n up here, that will get us the sum of the w's. So that is 3922.5. So we can now say 3922.5 plus 5760 is what all the stones add up to all together. And if we then divide that by how many stones there were altogether, which is 175, that will get us the new mean. So 3922.5 plus 5760 divided by 175 is 55.3. So that's the new mean. The new standard deviation is going to be the formula for standard deviation, but for all the values together. So similar to what we've just done here, we're going to have, it's going to be the, the um, sum of all the squares. So it's going to be the sum of the W squares plus the sum of the X squares over 175 minus the square of that new mean, so minus that 55.3 squared. We're also going to need to square root it because it's standard deviation, not variance. So I'm going to use the real value of this, not just 55.3. I'm going to use the value on my calculator, which is 55.328, blah, 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 blah. So make sure you're using the correct value to get the most accurate um, calculation result. So we're going to do the 207669.75, the sum of the W squareds, plus the value that they've given us, the 335 number, 335497. That's all going to get divided by 175. And then we're going to subtract that new mean squared and we're going to square root it. So, so once we've squared it, uh, sorry, square rooted it, I'm getting a value of 6.52 to three significant figures.